welcome back guys uh, before you watch this video you must have watched uh, part one of this video so that you follow up with the concepts that we are going to look at right uh, before i go any further i would like to remind you to subscribe so that you view every new video that I applaud right so let's look at uh, how to navigate within Excel like I said before if I click a cell I have selected it if I click that cell I have selected it then the name of that cell will appear and the name of that cell will appear in the name box there right if I want to navigate uh, horizontally, I want to show you using this uh, keyboard. If I want to navigate horizontally, let's say I'm here, I will click on tab. If I click on tab again, it's going to move in this direction. So this is navigation in the horizontal way. If I want to navigate vertically, I will just press enter, 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 enter. So let me type uh, Monday in this cell and click on tab and say choose the. Let me analyze this keyboard so that you can view what I am doing. Right, Tuesday, you can play type Wednesday, maybe minus day. Right, so this is horizontal navigation. So, vertical navigation, you just say here, yeah. you click there, you press enter, you say. Uh, maybe it's temperature you say or any value that you are putting until Monday maybe it's 56 you press enter you type in that form you press enter you type in 12 you press enter so this is how we navigate uh, vertically now I'm going to show you a small concept so that you can understand uh, how it's done and the concept is called auto filling so by auto filling I'm just going to select this table for me to select this cell and that cell and that cell I will just click here press my left mouse button and drag to the right uh, side so that i highlight cell a1 up to this cell now let me put my cursor at the bottom right corner there up until the uh, the cursor changes the shape and now i press on my left mouse button and drag it up until i am tired you see it's now monday tuesday wednesday is a price size channel up to that and it repeats itself because it has detected the pattern and auto filling just okay this auto filling is usually used to copy the formula it's used to copy the formula to other cells or to copy the pattern to other cells right so that is that if uh if i want to save this document i just click on save right at the moment this document is saved as book one but it's by default if i want to save it as uh, shakes excel one we just browse by browsing, I'm um, navigating to a folder that I want to save this document. 
let me go to desktop and let me create a folder i just click on new folder and then type shakesaw shakesaw this folder folder right and then i double click it now i type in Excel book. This is my book name, and it's saving only one sheet that is saving. I can actually print if I select print. You can select some options that will appear in here number of copies select the printer and some other settings that you can uh, actually set here then i can save this document as something else that is i can save this document with another name and the previous document will be saved as another copy with another name all right so that is that and the next concept that we are going to learn is mathematical functions basic mathematical functions which we get from autosum so before we proceed let's just delete everything i just clicked here and dragged to that and press delete on the keyboard so that I can have my values and I can just say mark here and press enter and put 34, 56, 100, 12, 39 like this so what do I want to do? here I want to get here i want to get the maximum so if i want to get the maximum maybe i may say my maximum mark must appear in here max and then total total and then i say maybe minimum and here I say what else do I have? Average. I just say average. I type in average in there. Average. And I say minimum, maximum, total, and average. Alright. <laughs> Maybe I'm having a name there. Multi and the and the and the and and Right. And now I'm calculating the minimum. So if I want to calculate the minimum, if if I want to get the minimum. I will just click on auto sum here the drop down here then I say min now it's it is selected these cells so I can actually press enter and the minimum from these values is 12 so let me just highlight these so that you may see that these in different I selected different color with that and these ones let's put another color which is um, let's put this one right so the maximum is that the minimum is that let's calculate the minimum maximum let's go maximum you see selecting from b3 this is b3 b 3 so 
whenever we are typing a formula we start with